It's great to have the Prime Minister here. We, uh, he, uh, we've become close friends. He's ridden the Amtrak train a lot uh, from New York down to down to Wilmington, Delaware. I told you we have a few corporations in Delaware back in the days when he was in private practice. And, uh, but he heads and leads the most diverse government in Israeli history. And uh, we've got a big agenda today, starting with COVID, which we've been talking about, and uh, 19 in both our successful vaccination programs. And we've talked a little bit. We're going to continue to talk about the issue of, of booster shots. And uh, uh, they, you started your program a little early. It's met with great results. We're going to start mid-September, but we're considering the advice you've given that we should start earlier. And uh, this is promising uh, uh, also uh, this booster program. It's going to start here on September the 20th, uh, pending approval of the FDA and the CDC committee of outside experts. And the, the question raised is, should it be shorter than eight months? Should it be as little as five months? And that's being discussed. I spoke with uh, Dr. Fauci this morning about that. We're also going to discuss uh, Israel's uh, uh, unwavering, unwavering commitment that we have in the United States to Israel's security. And I fully, fully, fully support replenishing Israel's Iron Dome system. And we're also going to discuss the threat from Iran and our commitment to ensure Iran never develops a nuclear weapon. And But we're putting diplomacy first and seeing where that takes us. But if diplomacy fails, we're ready to turn to other options. We'll support Israel's developing deeper ties as well with the Arab and Muslim neighbors and, and globally. That's a trend that I think should be encouraged, not discouraged, and we're going to do all we can to be value-added. We also are going to discuss ways to advance peace and security and prosperity for Israelis and Palestinians. And, uh, we're also going to direct our teams to work toward Israel fulfilling the requirements of the visa waiver program to get that done. So, Mr. Prime Minister, I want to thank you again for coming. The U.S. will always be there for Israel. It's an unshakable partnership between our two nations. And uh, it, I have known every Israeli prime minister since Golda Meir, gotten to know them fairly well, and I look forward to us establishing a strong personal relationship. So, welcome. welcome.